So they may say, hey, you've got $20,000 in coverage through XYZ company. But that's just accidental. It's really 10,000 natural death. They don't say that. And they use that as a way to make what they've got sound really good. So the solution is to look at the policy, see what they have, and then show them, hey, this only pays out that much up to age 75 or 80. That's usually when the accidental death stops and only for accidental death. And usually they're pretty mad at that point. They just want to fire their existing agent and get a plan from you. But that is the big angle I see a lot if it looks reasonably priced. What's the other one? Smoking rates. They should have smoking rates, but they were signed up as what? Non-smokers. And again, this is something that happens across the board with all agents across all walks of life. They're just This is a common way that uh, agents misrepresent. The client told them they smoked. They probably were on their second pack of Newports uh, at 12 when they met them. Uh, but they didn't, you know, put that down. The agent put down no when they should have put yes, right? So long story short, uh, the smoking question sometimes is answered incorrectly. Again, how do you remedy that? You look at the policy. This is why grabbing the policy is so important, okay? And then, of course, this is going across the board. Sometimes there are questions that should have been answered yes that were answered no, and it slipped past the underwriting process. Again, you have to look at the policy and specifically hold the back of the policy open until you find the copy of the application that was submitted at the time of sale, and then review the questions for accuracy relative to the actual health of the client that it was at the time, right? Um, they may have a new condition, but it's not so much that new condition, but what their health was at the time of sale. If it should have been answered yes, and it was answered no, well, it's contestable. It's not going to pay. And that's the problem, guys, right? It's not going to pay like they want it to. If they should have answered yes because they have COPD, but they answered no, or the agent did, and it's with a Lincoln Heritage, perfect example, they're not getting a level plan. They're getting modified. Whereas we can get them first day full coverage in this example. So we have to show them that. We have to look at the application to find that and to say, hey, look, did you answer that question? No. Uh, or yes, when you mentioned COPD. Yeah, I did. He knew I was, you know, huffing, you know, pro air in front of him. Well, what does this say, Mrs. Prospect? It says no. So you show them the application where they said that so they can see for themselves that they were lied to. And that's that pretty much solidifies the sale.